What is up guys, welcome back to another video, it's your boy the Spartan Beast. Today I had this huge urge to play Transit and you know what, I had fun doing it. Unfortunately, you know, Transit is that map that uh, you have a love-hate relationship, so I had good times and bad times, but uh, it's part of Transit. Transit was an awesome map back from Black Ops 2 that unfortunately was too big for its time, okay? The old consoles, the PlayStation Triple and the Xbox 360 No Scope didn't have enough power for such a big boy so that's why transit is transit but with the power of this new engine in cold war with the power of the new consoles transit has the potential to be one of the best zombie maps of all freaking time back in black ops 4 the remastered called the dead mob of the dead and five so there are three zombie maps left to be remastered if they follow the same logic of black ops 4 cold war is going to be remastering these bad boys and transit is my number one pick transit is my favorite ladies and gentlemen i cannot wait to play that bad boy especially if they add the new features they have in the new map die machine aka not the end and expanded but i would just be happy with 15 problems fixed so let's fix so let's talk about those bad boys ladies and gentlemen fix 15 problems that could make of transit such an amazing zombies map let's do this number one the bus they need to make it so that you can pay to make the bus start moving and once you get to your destination it stays there until you pay for it to start moving again therefore you will always have access to the bus we need to be able to choose our destination like for example with the train on shadows of evil you choose where you want to go and as soon as you leave the train stays there forever until someone else goes there and pays for it to start moving again i think that 500 points should be enough to make the bus start moving also why not have the ability to call the bus to you why not have a button or a phone on every single location to make the bus come to you that would be absolutely amazing and the most amazing th amazing thing would be why not let us put weapons on the bus like for example on the tank origins we had flamethrowers oh my god that was amazing why not let us put a flamethrower or a sentry gun or something like that on the bus that would be that would be absolutely biblical number two the teleporters i like the teleporters but to be honest i never use them because they are so freaking random and the fog is so thick you never know where you are for like half an hour it's really really annoying i think that the teleporters would be would be great for um, for situations like for example when you are on diner you lose jug and it's the middle of a high round there's a lot of zombies and there's no way you're gonna make it to town without jug so if we could choose our location our, the location we want to go by using a teleporter that would be amazing but obviously this would be this would have to be way more expensive than using the bus because I mean otherwise no, would, no one would use the bus so I would say like 2k or 3k for using a teleporter uh, would be uh, would be awesome and uh, 500 for the bus would be also pretty cool thing number three we need to be able to detach parts from the bus so that when noobs put the ladder inside the bus we can just detach it from there slap a noob in the face and say this is not in the bus it doesn't belong in the bus this belongs in the diner because we need galva knuckles to kill those things that always go that always get you down when you go in the fog little timmy every time a noob goes in the fog i know he's gonna die so i mean either they need to let us do that or just change the location of the galva knuckles because having to depend on a ladder is just way too dumb then we have thing number four ladies and gentlemen they need to increase the playable areas to hold more players at the same time like for example trying to have four players running around in circles on diner or bus depot is absolutely impossible so they need to clear the fog a little bit i don't know beside behind the buildings um i don't know they just need to make those playable areas a little bit bigger clear the fog just a little bit it's gonna be way more fun and also why not make uh, the church available to play let us go in the church and explore let us go inside the rooms in the tunnel okay there's a lot of rooms a lot of windows a lot of windows that would be also pretty cool why not have a full-sized kino there totem instead of instead of just the first room why not let us train around the cabin why not clear the fog around the cabin so we can run around in circles that would be pretty cool and why not have more stuff so that every single location would not be so that not so that some of these locations would not be useless like for example the power station farm 
after you get the after you get um, uh, double tap and after you activate the power you never go again to those locations then we have thing number five they need to add wall weapons to all locations because the best location in the map doesn't have a wall weapon i'm talking about town man you have the pack a punch right there you have jug you have stamina up you have quick revive nearby but you don't have a gun that is just super dumb so every single playable location needs to have a wall weapon including Kino, their totem. It doesn't have a gun, it doesn't make any sense. Then we have thing number six, PhD flopper needs to return and it needs to be upgraded. So it needs to be PhD 2.0. Not only would it be great because the best gun you have is the ray gun and the Mustang and Sally, not only would it be great because you wouldn't down yourself while using those bad boys, but it could also protect you against exploding zombies and against the lava. Think about it, this would be absolutely amazing. Then we have thing number seven, the Pekka Punch should just stay open forever after you open it. I mean, it doesn't make any sense that you have to open the Pack-a-Punch every single time you want to Pack-a-Punch a gun. It's just such a freaking tedious process. It's just a, such a painful process. Please, just let us open it once and that's it. Then we have thing number eight, turbines. I love turbines, everyone hates turbines because of the Pack-a-Punch. I like the turbines because you can use them as a distraction and uh, you know, if you put a turbine down, zombies will attack it and then you can revive a teammate or you can run for your life or something like that. The only change I would make to turbines is have a health bar behind, not behind, below the turbine on the screen so you know when it's about to break, okay, a battery, something like that. That way we know when we have to go for another turbine. Just like the zombie shield has a health bar, give it to, uh, give it to the turbine also. Then we have thing number nine, a single player should be able to carry two parts at the same time because trying to build a jet gun solo Oh my god, good luck with that. And then, oh, if it breaks, you have to do it all over again. Oh, it's such a painful process. Oh my god. That's why you don't see any jet guns when you play transit, because it's such a pain in the butt. Also, why not let us carry two buildables at the same time? We should not have to choose between the zombie shield, which is amazing, and also the turbine, which is also very important. Then we have thing number 10. Why not have just a little bit less fog? We know that the PlayStation Triple and, and the Xbox 360 no scope had a ton of fog to hide the imperfections right of the old engine of those consoles right but now I mean with the power of the new engine and new consoles we don't need the fog to be as thick especially as I said when you use the, tele the teleporters you're lost for like 30 minutes because you don't see anything so having a little bit less fog will make it easier for us to just go in the fog and not feel lost for half an hour after using a teleporter it would make the map more fun then we have thing number 11 denizens oh speaking of fun denizens are so much fun man no they're not I would not remove denizens like most people want because it's part of transit. What I would do is I would make denizens drop a random power up once in a while. Like after every time you kill like 15 denizens, 10, whatever, it could be random. They should drop a power up like a, a max ammo or something. That will give you a motivation to just go in the fog and fight denizens like an absolute champ. And then we have thing number 12, the jet gun. So the jet gun is supposed to be the wonder weapon, even though it's not a wonder weapon of transit but it really sucks because not only can you can you use it for just like three seconds uh, but it can break and after it breaks it's it's a mess okay you have to do it all over again some sometimes pieces or parts of the jet gun get lost and you cannot build it anymore it's a pain in the butt so not so why not just give it a longer cooldown that would solve all the problems people have with the jet gun because I, I kind of like it even though it sucks then we have thing number 13 reviving teammates in the fog can be very annoying if you don't have quick revive and it's almost impossible because denizens just keep coming over and over again so why don't you let that because the problem is when you're reviving a teammate if a denizen comes and attacks you you automatically stop reviving a teammate which is annoying let the denizens devour my face while i am reviving my boy then after that i will deal with the denizen because if a teammate goes down in the fog and i don't have jug i don't have quick revive i'm not gonna revive him he's gonna die right there on the spot and then we have thing number 14 players should be able to withdraw only 10k from the bank 
because the bank makes any zombies map way too easy. Same thing with the fridge. Can you imagine if you could put a jet gun in the fridge or a ray gun? It would be way too easy. Same thing with the bank. 10k would be enough. 10k a match would be enough. It would give you a nice start to get jug and also get a couple of rolls of the mystery box. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, the last thing I would change is related to the easter egg i would include route b on the easter egg why not with the power of the new consoles why not actually build route b that uh, doesn't exist right it, it, you go on theater mode and it doesn't exist the map ends right there why not build route b and make it available after you complete the easter egg that would be absolutely biblical ladies and gentlemen let me know what you guys think in the comment section below thank you for watching thumbs up if you want to see transit remastered i'll see you next time peace out